Hello again. This is Pastors David and Rachel Oaks with you for another Israel 120. We're standing beside the bank of the Sinir Stream, which is one of the four streams in Israel that feeds the Jordan River. The other three being the Ion, the Dan, and the Banyas. And any city, any village that's going to be founded needs to first find a water source or a way to get water from another source into that city or village. And you know, that's the way it is with the supply of the Spirit. We need, so many times we want to do things for the Lord, but we need to first find the, our source of strength, the source of uh, the Spirit, which is compared to water in the Bible. And Pastor David has a teaching for you along those lines. Listen to these scriptures from the mouth of our Savior Jesus Christ in John, the seventh chapter, verse 37. In the last days, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. Notice what, notice what the, the writer, John, says concerning Jesus' comments on out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's where power is generated. In fact, we've gone through Israel and in several locations, we have seen power generators on streams. Many of them are defunct now and old. I mean, the first one we saw was created in 1904. They put that generator on the stream and it generated power for this new, new group of people coming to the Holy Lands to reestablish the state of Israel. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Then John explains to this, but this spake he of the Spirit. He was telling us exactly what he was talking about when he was talking about rivers flowing. He was talking about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, which they that believe on him should receive. Every believer in the Lord Jesus Christ should receive the Holy Spirit. Glory to God, you don't get all there is at the new birth. There's more. Hallelujah. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, but on that day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came. We were just recently in the upper room where the, traditionally the Holy Spirit came in Jerusalem. And every one of us, glory to God, that are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ should receive the Holy Ghost. That's what John 7 verse 39 says. He hasn't been done away with. He's still around today and we should utilize his power. You hear the stream behind us. We have visited these other streams. You can look at the YouTube videos and find the other ones that we've looked at some with waterfalls but one thing is for sure they're all moving they're all making noise well that's what happens when you get filled with the holy ghost you move and you make noise i remember one time listening on the radio going down the highway to a to a dear african-american preacher brother don't know who he was but he says if you look in a fishbowl and nothing's moving around you know something's wrong but if you look in the fishbowl and the fish are moving around you know there's life well that's the same way church the people are moving around, you know, glory to God, that something's going on. The Holy Ghost will make you move. The Holy Ghost will produce power. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified, but Jesus has been glorified. He died and he's raised from the dead, glory to God. So we've been looking at these streams in northern Israel that feed into the Jordan River. River. This Nor River that we're here, also known as the Hasbani, is the largest of all those streams that flow in and create the Jordan River. Glory be unto God. So this is my admonition to you. This is my encouragement to you. If you're not baptized with the Holy Ghost, get filled with the Holy Ghost and something comes with it. You'll also be able to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives you utterance. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. That's where the power is generated. Hear that noise behind us? You can hear it, can't you? Well, that's what happens, glory to God, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. You start making some noise for the Lord. We appreciate you. We love you. Glory to God. Check out our other YouTube videos. Sister Rachel and I, Brother David, glory to God. We're still, we're pastors, but we're your brother and we're your sister. Check out our videos. We want to be a blessing to you. Glory to God. Hear what we got to say. Come and visit us in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. We love and appreciate you. Be blessed in the name of our Lord and Savior from Northern Israel. This is Pastor David and Rachel saying goodbye for now. Glory to God.